And here we go, fourth down, 40.5 seconds to go. The Mariners up 20 to 13 on the New Jersey Revolution. Sending two in motion. Nimith looking for the open receiver. Fires towards the end zone, and that is caught for the touchdown. Jamal Stokes comes up big again for the Mariners. That was the old ice cream cone. Oh, yeah. He managed to hang on to it. Almost squared up, and he maintained possession. Hey, AJ, uh, that's number four. And the only likeness so far in the first game with New Jersey is AJ had four touchdown passes, both halves. Back to throw. Fires, and that is caught. And he is free. Touchdown, New Jersey. Collins Mark comes up big for the Revolution, and they narrow the deficit. Now, this is certainly not the, the defense where we've come to love the New Jersey. I mean, he was wide open. He had about 10 or 15 distance, and the DBs are just kind of looking at each other. I don't know who, who missed what, but not good. Nimitz sends two in motion. Back to throw. Fires, and that is caught by Isaiah Greer. Greer shifting, looking for room, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. You know, as even though things haven't gone that well today, that's EJ's fifth touchdown pass that ties a career high. And one thing that we were going to mention in our pregame show, EJ with that, actually, that's number 52 as a Mariner. We were looking for that 50th touchdown. Winters back to throw. Throwing deep for Lopez, and that is bobbled and caught. And... He's at the five, touchdown New Jersey. And just like that, momentum has swung back in the favor of the New Jersey Revolution. Greer at a quarterback direct snap, fights towards the end zone and he is in there for the touchdown. A big touchdown for the Baltimore Mariners. Isaiah Greer comes up big again. Our little, uh, little version of Wildcat there, Isaiah took the snap. Brian Bradford coming in at a fullback, leading the way. Nemeth in the shotgun. Fakes the handoff, it's caught by Stokes, and Stokes leads forward. Touchdown, Baltimore. And Spider-Man is on fire here. And if I'm not mistaken, that was Nemeth's sixth of the evening? Yep, number six, if I count it correctly. The Baltimore fans were kind of quiet for a while, but we certainly are starting to hear, hear their presence in here. The old bucket brigade over there. Gotta love that bucket brigade. Sending two in motion. Bedark back to throw. Tries to get rid of the ball and that is caught by Chris Mano. Oh, oh and a hard hit. An unbelievable hit by Daniel Orlebar. And that hard hit was brought to you by Alexander's Tavern of Fells Point. There you go. You could feel that sickening thud. Third down and long for the Mariners. Nima takes the snap, back to throw, and he is rushed, and that is caught by Isaiah Greer. Greer's got the first down and more, looking for daylight at the five. Yes. Touchdown, Baltimore! And you can put this one in the books, folks. 2.39 left to play. Baltimore up 53-27, and it doesn't look like New Jersey's going to get their first win of the season. Yeah, winner is also their, their third starter of the year, so they've had a tough time. And he is flushed out of the pocket, and he is stopped. And that's going to do it, Adam Golubowski. And the Mariners' defense having reason to celebrate. A big win for them. Coming out in the second, second half and just dominating New Jersey. Folky lines up under center. Tosses the ball to Greer, and Greer leads forward toward the end zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. Little icing on the cake there. And the New Jersey fans and the New Jersey players aren't going to like that one. Snap is down, kick is up, and it is good. And it looks like that's a lucky souvenir for some rodent up there. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, the ball never came back. And that's the game. And the final score, the Baltimore Mariners 61, the New Jersey Revolution 27. Your Baltimore Mariners are still undefeated and in first place in the Eastern Division. Again, we had our little bit of a scare tonight. But the bottom line, I mean, we're sitting at 5-0. and You can't beat that. we got two tough games coming up on the road. But uh, 
in the end, a good ending. A great ending. Unbelievable. And I talked about this. I admire this team so much. It seems like when they have their backs against the wall, they come out, guns blazing. Coach Simpson got them, got them ready to go here in the second half, and they came out with a couple unanswered touchdowns. And it was just an amazing performance in the second half for this Baltimore Mariners team. Yeah, we talked about it a little bit. We wondered how that halftime chat went. Must have been a heck of a speech because it was 33-27. Mariners came out. Complete shutout in the second half. The offense was very efficient. Defense was just stifling. And special teams actually did really good all, all night, especially from a kicking standpoint, adapting to this low ceiling. But uh, again, 5-0, and two road games coming up. I mean, if you, if you plot out the season going on, you, you can't complain about 5-0 and at all. The bad news is Harrisburg at 4-1 at is right on, our, right on our tails. So we've got to uh, get a couple more wins and face Harrisburg home on May 2nd. And you got to admire EJ, EJ Nemeth. We talked about him all game long. Beat, surpassing his single game record, and he passed for seven touchdowns today. Jersey boy coming home and impressing his hometown fans. Yeah, it was nice. He, I know he had a large contingent of family here and a bunch of kids from his high school. And then uh, I know again Isaiah. We have I think we I think if I did the math right, seven Jersey boys. And it was nice for them to come back home and be able to really put on a show for their hometown fans. So uh, in the end, good win. We'll take it. And I look forward to. Uh, next weekend absolutely and we want to remind you guys that next saturday we will be up in reading as the reading express take on our undefeated baltimore mariners so yeah we're looking forward to the game can't wait six and oh what do you think i think we can do it all right, all right. we want to thank you guys for tuning in we apologize that this isn't live once again but we promise we will be live saturday for john wolf i'm steve mcnelly thank you for tuning in good night folks thank you